Hey guys and gals and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. This will be a series on intermediate rigging that are um, fairly short in length. I'm going to try to keep them about no more than 10 minutes long but I'm going to try to keep them between 3 to 5 minutes in length. So if you enjoy or learn something from each video consider liking it and to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly don't forget our motto, create your way. So all I've done here in my scene is I've created, a, uh, I've got two meshes. One is just a simple cube and the second one is just a uh, basically an up and down arrow that I just created just a basic mesh it's just a plane that I extruded backwards that in obviously an up and down arrow shape so what I want to uh, show you today is how to use an arrow to um, to set basically in a rig to control our cube in some way so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna use um, a constraint an object constraint now you may be used well, you're obviously probably used to using modifiers. Um, you may not, be, however, have ever used, or you may have not used, or you may have used very few object constraints. Now, I'm going to assume that you have a general knowledge of parenting. You know, parenting inside and out, basically, but that you may not have used very many or any object constraints. So, I'm going to start with some of the basics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent the cube to the arrow. So I'm going to select the cube and then I'm going to hold down shift and right click on the arrow. Then I'm going to hit control P and set parent to object. So now our arrow is a child of the cube. As you can see here, the arrow controller, or sorry, the cube is a child of the arrow. So the arrows is the parent and the cube is the child. So let's choose a basic object constraint to uh, illustrate some effects that we can get through this to create uh, a rig. So the first thing I'm going to make sure of is, or that I'm going to change, is I'm going to change the origin of our arrows to the origin of the cube. So since the origin of the cube is just at the center, I'm simply going to move the cursor to the center. I'm going to select our arrow in object mode, then I'm going to go Control shift c change the origin. I'm going to set the origin to 3D cursor. That will change the origin down to the center there. So now it's at the same point to the cube. So now I'm going to add a constraint to our cube. I'm going to add a copy locate a copy location and our target is going to be the arrow controller arrows controller so our arrow oh I've got the wrong object so I have to select the cube sorry and then we want a copy location and our target is going to be the arrows controller and we only want to go in the Z direction so basically when I move the arrow up the cube is going to come go up and when I move the arrows down the cube is going to go down so let's try that so we have it set in the z-axis which is up and down in this case so I'm going to grab the arrow and we can get rid of this one since that was an accident um, so now if we grab this along the z you can see that it goes up and down with the arrow. Now, this is achieved exactly the same with uh, a simple parenting, but to show you how this works, I'm going to clear the parents. So I'm going to go Alt P and I'm going to clear the parents. Select them both and clear the parents, sorry. So now you can see that arrow controller and cube are no longer parented, they're no longer connected. So um, I can move. I can move it and it's it's not attached anymore but however if I still grab this along the Z it still brings it with it and if I grab it no matter where it is I can still move it up and down so that's that's kind of the 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 power of this constraint and I, I just wanted to illustrate that quickly but that is the most simple and the most basic rig but it's just an intro it's just uh, it's just kind of how I wanted to introduce my intermediate rigging series and just to show you something a little more fun let's choose our cube and instead of copy location let's do a let's do a copy scale you can see there's one for rotation but that's not as interesting so let's copy the scale in let's choose just the x and y for now and our target is going to be the arrow controller now or actually let's just choose z because that would make sense since we just have up and down arrows so now essentially our arrows are going to control the z scale of the cube so if we grab the arrows along the z nothing happens 
Oh, sorry, because I'm copying scale. I'm not using a more advanced one. So um, if I scale the arrows, you'll see that it now scales the cube with it. So kind of interesting. And so our ultimate goal in the end, uh, what I was trying to do accidentally, is we were going to use what's called the uh, transformation um, constraint that will get the effect that if we move the arrow up and down in location, it will affect the scale of the cube um, in just the z-axis since we just have up and down arrows. But we'll get into that in a later lesson. I just wanted to kind of show off um, what we're going to be doing and how it's going to work and look and uh, how this series is going to work out. So this is just the, the first in a series this is just the first in a series of many that I'll be um, showing and it's just going to be little quick tips on different constraints and how to set up different kinds of uh, interesting rigs and in the end we'll be able to understand how to fully rig objects in all sorts of different ways rather than your uh, typical simple armature setup. So just as a little teaser, I've set up this uh, this transformation object constraint, which will be one that we'll be getting to in a in a slightly later video, which is the most uh, flexible and uh, most usable constraint, the the most useful, I mean, uh, constraint in my opinion. So what I've done is I've just set um, the location of our target, which is the arrows of a minimum of five of negative five sorry since it's five units above the uh the grid floor and a maximum of negative one sorry just because of um just because of the way the uh the cube is set up it's negative one units below and so i've set the scale of of our, so, or our destination is the cube and the scale in the x and y it stays the same one a min of one and a max of one on both of them so they're not going to change at all but the z can be um, changed from zero all the way to one its original size so it can be flattened to nothing and it can be uh, it can go all the way up to its its uh, its maximum size so basically and I've mapped the z so the Z from here to be all the axes here. So basically, if I grab this, no matter which which way I'm grabbing it, if I grab it, um, it doesn't matter where I am in space since I've mapped all the axes to the Z. Basically, once I get to this point, it starts to screw or to to scale it, and it can scale it all the way down to nothing, basically a plane. But we can go up. And there it's back to its full size and we can combine this with other constraints to create uh, much more usable things we could have it so that it uh, it starts right here and that's its maximum uh, amount of movement and it goes down here and that's its minimum amount of movement and so that's basically a slider we can use to change the scale of this object so you can see the possibilities that can come with using object constraints to set up um, visual rigs and rigs in general so that's just a little teaser anyways thanks for watching Watching. Um, expect uh, many videos to come or not many but a, a, a small series of videos that come out of this to teach you some intermediate rigging techniques so thanks for watching from the team here at blendertech.com if you enjoyed this video and learned something consider liking it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos we're on twitter at twitter.com slash blender underscore tech and facebook at facebook.com slash blender tech page all one word if you dislike this video for some reason, don't just hit the thumbs down button and leave. Instead, please leave us a comment or email us if it's private at info at blendertech.com um, about what you did not like, excuse me, so that we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. That's what our basis and foundation was built on. We also take requests, so if there's some sort of tutorial you want or there's something you're having issues with, just show it out and we will definitely help you out. So anyways, see you next time. Remember, create your way.